My name is Ben Woodard and today I'm going to be talking to you about a few ways to catch fish without using a fishing pole. In recent history, most of the, the most popular way of catching fish has been by using poles, but there are other variable ways that you can do this that are just as enjoyable and have a higher success rate. Uh, as most people have grown up in the South, they, were, they grew up on fishing, have been introduced to it, or are avid fishers. So by learning a few new ways to catch fish or by the way that you already know, you can renew your love for the sport or get introduced to it for the first time. I did grow up in the South and I have been raised on fishing all my life. Uh, it's become a hobby of mine and I am an avid fisher and I get to go out a lot of times. So I have chose three methods of catching the fish without poles to talk about today. And that's going to be catching fish by using yo-yos, trot lines, and jugs. And the first one we're going to talk about is going to be the yo-yos. A yo-yo for fishing can be a misleading term because this isn't the yo-yos that we grew up playing with as a kid. Uh, these are fishing yo-yos. And essentially what a fishing yo-yo is, is a long piece of string with a hook at the end on a spring-loaded reel. And the spring is used to help set the hook to catch the fish. And when we talk about setting the hook, what we mean is by pulling against the hook so that the hook can go further into the fish's mouth so they can't shake off and, and, and get off of the hook. And so again, when we talk about the yo-yos, it's a long piece of string with a hook at one end. It's attached to a spring-loaded reel where the spring is used to help set the hook. Now to catch fish using yo-yos, we want to go and set out multiple yo-yos by tying them in a tree branch that's going to be overhanging the water. Once our yo-yo is tied in our tree branch, we're going to pull our string down to the water level and we're going to take a bar to set the spring. And once the spring is set, the yo-yo won't move, your string will be loose and you can it's set right there and you can bait it and leave it alone. And once uh, the fish is going to come along, it's going to pull down on the hook. And that's going to release the spring, and it's going to jerk the hook back up. And that's where we're going to get that, that hook set that we talked about. And uh, once everything is set, you leave them alone for about an hour, and you run them back. You go back, you check your yo-yos, and check them periodically, and uh, rebait them, get your fish off, and so forth and so on. Uh, these methods are popular because they're less work intensive than, you, than fishing with poles and that they uh, are going to have a higher success rate because you're going to have more hooks in the water at one time than you would with just one fishing pole. The next thing we're going to talk about is fishing with the trot lines. So we have a trot line right here. What a trot line is, is going to be your one main line rolled up right here. It's normally about 150 feet long. And you're going to take your main line, it's made out of nylon, and you're going to tie it between two points or anchor it between two points. And about every three feet on your main line, there's going to be a swivel where you tie about a one foot piece of string with a hook attached to it. So you got 150 feet of string, every three feet of hook, so you have 50 hooks per line. It's anchored between two points and then you're going to bait it. Now trot lines are mainly used to catch catfish and so you're going to want to customize your bait towards catfish and the baits normally used are cut bait which is going to be cut up pieces of fish. Uh, you can use small bait fish or large bait fish depending on the size of the catfish you want to catch and then dough bait. And what dough bait is, is uh, a mixture of either blood or cheese and then other uh, pasty materials. And you're gonna mix those up, and they're gonna make a, a dough. It's gonna be a lot like cookie dough, uh, but it's gonna stink real bad. And the rule of thumb with catfish baits is the worse it smells to you, the better they're gonna like it. And so we're gonna use our dough bait, roll it up in a ball, and we're just gonna set that on our hook. Now the reason the trot line isn't gonna set the hook like a, a yo-yo wheel, it doesn't have a spring or anything like that. But the, the fish is going to have to set the hook himself and it still works real well. Uh, our next one we're going to talk about also has a way of setting the hook. It's not mechanized or spring loaded, it's a lot more simpler. And that's our jugs. The jug is real simple. Uh, it's just simply either a 20 ounce Coke bottle anywhere from there to like a one gallon milk jug. And you're just going to tie a piece of string like that with a hook at the end of it. And you're going to take these and you're going to set them out in the middle of your water. And you're going to use multiple jugs at one point in time. And it's baited, and once the fish pulls down on the hook, it's got the air in the bottle, and the air is going to want to come back up, and that's where you're going to get their, their hook set. And so the harder the fish pulls down, the harder the hook sets. And this is also used uh, for catching catfish. So again, you're going to want to customize your baits and use your cut baits and your dough baits and your stuff like that. There's only one downfall with using your jugs is that they're not anchored like the trot line is, or tied in a tree branch like the yo-yos are. So they will float away, or if you have a big fish, you can run away with it for a while. So you want to check your, your uh, jug lines 
more often than you would your other ways of catching a fish. And that's the only downfall with that one. So in summary, we talked about three ways of catching a fish. That was with the yo-yos, our spring-loaded uh, strings, our trot lines, 150 feet with uh, the hooks, 50, 50 hooks per line, and then our jugs, which is just simply a Coke bottle with a string attached to it. And uh, these are popular methods because they're uh, a lot easier to do. There's not, not as much work involved because you get to leave them there. You're not sitting there all day long with them. And then there's a higher success rate because there's more hooks in the water compared to one fishing pole. So now that we're all fishing experts, I expect to uh, get phone calls to all your fish fries. And I'm Ben Woodard, thank you for your time.